OpenArt's new story feature turns your ideas into AI-generated video stories, like vlogs, explainers, or music videos. It generates all the scenes with the video clips, voices, music, all of it. It's a brand new feature, and I'm proud to be partnered with OpenArt to tell you about it, which is a fancy way of saying that OpenArt is sponsoring this video. The story feature can create explainer videos, which is good for how-tos, but also for fact-type videos. Music videos, you can create a style video, a story video, or a singing video. The character vlog, where you can have one of the characters you created on open art having a spa day or going shopping or whatever you want. And if none of these suit your project or how you like to work, you can also start from scratch in the story editor. Let's try out the character vlog. If you've created a character using the open art characters feature, you can choose your character here. If not, you can click custom, upload a single image, and it'll use that as a reference to create character images for this story. You can also choose from a number of characters that open art has created. I'm going to pick my Baxter character. It tags Baxter in the prompt, so we know that's who we're working with, and then we just have to tell it what we want Baxter to be doing. I'm going to say Baxter is enjoying a day at the beach. Next, we pick the aspect ratio, whether we want it to be a horizontal or a vertical video. Then we can choose the background music. If we come over here to the right next to auto select and click this drop down, if we leave it on auto select, it'll automatically pick the music for you. You can also use Suno music by just pasting in the link. You can upload music or you can choose a specific track from the trending songs here on open art. Come over next to pick a song, click the drop down, and there's a whole list of tracks to pick from. If you hover your mouse over any one of these, you can hear a preview. Yeah, that'll be fine. So I'm just going to click it. There we go. It's all loaded in. Now, if we didn't want background music at all, we've got an option for that too. Under the advanced settings, you can select the image model and the video model. By default, the image model is set to character. Since we're using one of our open art characters, I'm going to leave it right there. For the video model, the default is Kling 2.1 standard. I think we might try 2.1 Pro. What's happening here is it's going to generate an image for each scene, and then it's going to use this video model to turn that image into a a video clip and put them all together to make the video. Now we click create story. Our story's ready. Let's see how Baxter's doing at the beach. Baxter waving at the end of the video was a really nice touch. If there's something we want to change, we can click this edit the story button. That brings us into the editor. There's two views for this, timeline view and list view. This view in the editor is now called storyboard. It was list view, but OpenArt is still tweaking and improving this whole story feature, and one of the changes they've made is calling this storyboard instead of list view. You may find some other little differences in the story feature from what I'm showing here. I'm working in the pre-release version, and like I said, OpenArt is tweaking and improving things and probably will still do that after the launch. This is a very simple editor. This is not intended to take the place of like DaVinci Resolve or CapCut or Premiere Pro or anything like that. It's very basic. Over on the left is our media by default or on the videos tab. This is showing us all the video clips that are being used in this video. Down at the bottom you have the timeline. We have the video clips along the top and then we have this audio or background music on the bottom. If we click on one of the clips we get some properties over here on the right. You can also regenerate the video. Now, if you just click that button, you'll be using that original prompt that's in there. So take a look at the prompt and make sure there isn't anything you want to change and then hit the retry button. It'll regenerate. You can trim your clips. When you click on a clip, you get these blue handles on either side. Just click and drag from the beginning or from the end. If you select your audio, like the background music in this case, you can adjust the volume, speed it up or slow it down, and add a fade in or fade out. If there's a scene you don't want, say this scene at the end here, we can right click on it and click delete. The list view shows you each scene, but it breaks down over on the left the prompt that created the starting image. Then it shows you that starting image. Then it shows you the prompt that was used with this starting image to create the video, and it shows you the video. Vertically, you have all the scenes going from the beginning to the very last scene. 
You can add a scene in between by clicking the plus button. You can delete any scene you want by hovering over the bottom of it and clicking delete. You can also generate a new image or a new video clip for any individual scene. For the image, the prompt is on the far left. If you make changes to your prompt or you just want to re-roll it, hit the retry image. If we came over to the right and said retry video, it would now be using this new image that we just created to generate the video. You can also generate all the images in one shot. You can leave it on the default model that we've been using, or you can drop that down and change models to regenerate. You can do the same thing on the video side. You can regenerate all the videos in one shot. You can change the model and regenerate all the videos based on the new model that you selected. Now let's do an explainer video. For this, we need a voiceover script. We can paste one in or type it out here up to 900 characters. I'm going to use this create script with AI to let the AI help me out. I'll just type in five fun facts about cats and click generate script. It pops a script in there. I'm not going to fool with editing or fact checking that right now, but I do have this toggle auto polish script turned on down at the bottom. If we leave that on, the AI will enhance and optimize our script. Now that'll take place after we click the create button, so we won't really know what it is until it's finished. But for this, I'm cool with letting it do its thing. Over on the right, we can choose a style, photorealistic, animation, micro world, and a few others, or we can create a custom style. We can leave the voice actor set to auto and let the AI decide the voice for the voiceover, or we can click the drop down and pick a specific voice. Click the play button next to the name to preview the voice. Your story deserves to be felt. Let open art turn your feelings into visual poetry. Millions of creators trust open art to bring their ideas to life. This one sounds good, so I'm gonna click on the name to select it. The rest of the settings are the same as what we had in the character blog. You can set the aspect ratio, the background music, and then under advanced settings, you can change the image or video model if you like. I'm gonna leave all that on the defaults and click create story. And here's how that turned out. Cats have charmed humans for millennia, ready for five quick facts that may wow you. Fact one, a cat's vocal range tops 100 distinct sounds. Each meow, trill, or chirp is its own message. Fact two, in one bound, a cat can launch six times its body length. Picture you clearing a small house. Fact three, felines snooze 13 to 16 hours daily, making them true napping champions storing energy for play. Fact four, that soothing purr isn't just happiness. The vibration can actually calm and even heal their bodies. Fact five, about 70% of cats favor the left paw, just like people show handedness. So next time you cuddle your cat, remember these cool truths. And just like the character vlog, we can bring an explainer video into the editor here on Timeline View. You'll have an extra track down here, the voiceover track. And in the storyboard view, everything's the same, except we have the script listed in each of the scenes. Now let's try a music video. For this, we can either upload a song or paste a link to a song on Suno, which is what I'm gonna do. It brought in the track and it selected a 30 second chunk in the middle. Now the max we can use here is one minute and my song's a little bit longer than that. So I'm just gonna use these handles to select the part of the song I wanna use. We've got three modes to pick from, style, story, or sing. Let's try sing. I'm gonna pick my character Reed to do the singing. We'll leave the aspect ratio on 16 by nine. For the image generation model, I'm gonna leave that on the default, which is character. And then for the video model, you can choose between Hedra or Open Art Singing. Let's try Hedra and we'll click Create Story. Our music video is ready. It's using a song that I whipped up on Suno about being a content creator getting a video ready. My screen is full of clips and effects, along with some graphics and a little text. Camera to screen, make it flow just right. Trim the dead space, dial in the light. Craft a title that really rings. Make a thumbnail with a little zing It's taking too long to finish this thing Gotta get it done and see what it brings I'm gonna upload it tonight Hope the algorithm treats me right Need a good title and thumbnail too A whole lot of editing left to do Gotta make the hook and intro shine And maybe they'll watch till minute nine A few million views or maybe more one of ten is what I the only words I can come up with are hilariously awful. 
It's so weird, it looks like it might be that way on purpose. I will say, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I've rewatched it several times, and it's probably the most entertaining thing that I've generated eh, this week, at least. So this is a brand new feature from OpenArt. There's definitely some kinks to be worked out. I'm not gonna try and tell you it's perfect. They wouldn't either. But I know they'll keep working hard to improve it and make visual storytelling a little bit easier. Hey, I'm Bob. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.